Welcome to Sir Dupree Let's Wow, wrong podcast. Welcome to uh, Brett Dupree's awesome health journey. Oh man, as I always look at my hair for the first time because my window's all foggy. Uh, I am in the, my awesome health journey. Uh, to, this was actually meant to be video 103, but now it's video like 107 uh, because things came up. Maybe I'll have enough content to continue to do this every day for a while. I've never done something like that. So hooray! to by far my most consistent in uh, making videos that I've ever been. I mean, I made so many challenges. Anyway, today's video is about celebrating little, little things, little victories. And I have to tell you, uh, when I started Orange Theory a year and a half ago, not a year and a half ago, a year ago in April of 2022, the only way I was able to continue Orange Theory, because as I say, those first six to eight months were torture. Like, they were terrible. I like to say I liked it, but no, I didn't. They were awful. My back hurt. My body hurt. I was just torn up inside, torn up outside. And having people say, you're working out too hard. That never helped. I hate when people tell me that. Like, I don't know my body. But I, it was not... Good. That's one reason why I'm so thankful for the coaches and the people there for encouraging me to go because like that helped get me there. I'm wanting to live, help get me there, having making my goals just to work out, help me get me there. But like another thing that helped me is celebrating little victories. I was talking to somebody uh, and they were celebrating one of their little victories with me, which I appreciate. Um, and it's a, it's a victory that like, you know, People take for granted. I know when I was in shape, I used to take so many things for granted. And but like how out of shape I was when I first started. And I'm not joking. Getting into my car used to make me tired. I used to be winded going into my car. And my first little victory was before I have a, I have a foot break. I would have to lean back, grab the handle, to pull myself up so I can get my leg up. To un to put the brake in and out of my car, and so just being able to do that by leaning back and doing that, that was one of my first little victories. And I don't know in my book, Joyous Expansion, unleashing your power, uh, unleashing uh, your I forgot the tagline. Uh, anyway, I said this quote, and I've said this quote many times: celebrate the little things in life. Life is one big celebration. But when you're starting something and it's difficult. And it's difficult no matter what it is, if it's working out, if it's dating, if it's uh, eating food. I I mean, yeah, even during this food challenges, I had to celebrate the little victories because I ate like shit the first four months of this intuitive eating journey and gained a shit ton of weight. And that was disheartening as hell, hurt my self-esteem so much that I believed in it. And then I got to celebrate having uh, Oreos in my house for three days instead of eating them in one. But uh, yeah, so being able to celebrate those little victories and look at those, what you know, they call them non-scale victories in uh, working out and stuff. But like I had to, that was just, uh, I want to say a trauma response, but that was just something I recognized I had to do to get my ass to keep going and keep doing things because it sucked. Um, and it sucks. Part of it. Like yesterday, I posted on my Facebook page that. Uh, one of my little victories is I noticed I'm able to pick stuff off the floor without leaning on a table or a chair. Sometimes, I mean, when my back was hurting, I would grab my, or like a lot of times, I would, if something was in the middle of the floor, I'd have to grab my cane so I had something to lean on so I can get down and pick it up. Now I'm able to bend and pick things up. Like when I fell in that video, I think 70 something, I was able to get up off the floor without putting my hand on anything. That's amazing. Um, might be decently close to being able to get on the floor at Orange Theory. I don't want to try it yet, but that might be a thing. Um, another little victories. One of my victories now was being able to buckle my seatbelt uh, easily. Um, I'm easily just uh, grab it and put it in without having to like put it under my stomach and uh, fiddle with it and hope it gets in. You know, like a guy trying to have sex for the first time. You know, but like. I'm able to just put it in like I'm a professional. Um, 
Uh, that's one of my little victories that I'm so... Oh, being able to go up the stairs without having to do the one leg at a time thing. I mean, I generally do that when I go down the stairs, but I don't have to. If I want to, I can just go down the stairs um, relatively normal. I'll go up the stairs relatively normal by going one foot at a time. That's a little victory. Um, you know, being able to wear this shirt without the... Uh, being able to sit down without the... Uh, filling the uh, ba -ba 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 buttons. Uh, pop out is a, a little victory. My current shorts that I hated buying because they're 60 inch waist, they're starting to feel like they're about to fall down a little bit. Um, when I have to buy pants because I have to go into the office for an all day meeting on in January, in June, um, I'm going to buy the uh, some 58 shorts. So yeah, um, little victory there. Uh, just. And just going by and noticing the things I couldn't do and able to do, like the fact that being able to wash my dishes on days I work out because I'm not so tired that the idea of washing my dishes feels like way too much and I get winded because like my body is just worn out, which it was the first six months. My house was so dirty because I had only had energy to do it on Sunday. Because it's, that was enough days between, and I didn't have that much energy to do it. Um, shoot. And yeah, so basically, I have to continue. Then that's one thing I continue to do is celebrate those little things. Celebrate being able to go to the fair and walk around. Um, being able to go to the festival last week and just walk around and enjoy myself and be able to stand for a long period of time. Remember uh, when they did the die, die try at dry try at Orange Theory and I was able to stand and cheer for people for 30 minutes? That was a little victory. Or one of my Orange Theory victories that I wish some people celebrated more when I told them was able to do the workouts. We're doing something crazy called Mayhem this month in May. And I went to the uh, Mayhem last year, but I couldn't do that. I was still basically walking on the treadmill one mile per hour, maybe getting a one percent or two percent incline because that's all i could do at the time now i did two mayhem workouts they're both ridiculously hard and so i only did two because that's all i want to do uh, i don't really want to push myself super hard because a regular workout pushes me hard enough i don't need to do extra hard workouts plus i hit my 12 this month that's what matters but yeah and also hitting 12 workouts in a month that was my initial goal so every time i added a workout a week that was a nice Little victory. I'm um, switching from eight workouts to the unlimited. Uh, now budgeting every day and doing you need a budget every day is another little victory that I'm really happy that I'm able to do and cutting down my spending and stop spending money I don't have and really making better choices in my life and not trying to um, cover. Being able to cry in front of people has been a, another little victory. It's not my favorite little victory. I still don't like it. But being able to do it is like, and not feel like complete and total shit and super vulnerable and think about it for days and hate every hour of my life because I did that. I mean, that's what I did when my uncle died. You know how much it bothered me that I cried in front of people? Shit. But now I'm not doing that as much. Um, you know, thinking about, yeah, you know, Memorial Day is coming up. Thinking about all the fun times I had with my ex. And not crying because, you know, I asked someone to marry me for a reason. And the fact that it didn't work out, it didn't work out. And there's a part of me that's sad, of course, that it didn't work out. Because I wanted it to work out. And But I'm not crying anymore. I'm not, like, super sad about it. I'm still kind of, you know, lonely in my heart. I've never, never broke up with someone that was that close to. So this is a new experience. But I'm not wrecked from it right now. And I'm able to deal with it and then talking to people, starting to try to date again. And that's another little victory there. Just continue to move forward, becoming more emotionally available, becoming in a little bit better shape uh, day by day, becoming more and more my favorite self. And yeah, just so I'm just, it just helps with gratitude and being thankful and really look at your life in positive. When you want to move forward, you have to think of every little step you take as a victory as something to be proud of, something that you did that you couldn't do before, something, and it doesn't matter if like other people are good at it, and it doesn't matter the fact that some people are 
when they say in Orange Theory to power walkers run 3.5 miles per hour and I still haven't even hit 3.5 miles per hour yet as a power walker. I'm at, I think the highest I've gone is 3.3 now. And that destroyed my, it didn't destroy, but that hurt um, a lot. And I haven't hit that yet. But at the same time, it's not worrying about what other people are doing. It's all about what I'm doing and my improvement. And hopefully by next year, I'm able to hit 3.5, 4.5, and be stronger, better, faster, and all those fun things. And because just and celebrating the little things in life, my little accomplishments is what's going to keep me there. And I apologize for this one being extra long. I guess I had a lot of talk about. But please, this is actually just when you look at your life, stop thinking of the big picture all the time. You got to look at the small picture about getting a little bit better today than you were yesterday. And no matter what it is. And that's how you're going to keep moving forward. You do it one step at a time. So I do it one step at a time. And embodying that and realizing that is very important in trying to reach those big goals. Especially when you had such a big setback where you are at a point where you don't believe you even should be like I am when it comes to my health. I never thought I'd be this out of shape in my life. I've never been is out of shape as I was last year. That was hard. That was awful. And I'm still very out of shape. But every little victory helps. And I'm going to continue to push forward. I'm going to continue to become the best version of me. My favorite version of me. And live a life of just maximum enjoyment. Because, yeah. So, apologize for this one being long. Love you.